Oh, you know that sound right now at 11 San Francisco's cable cars mark a milestone. The city celebrating 150 years of the iconic transportation that just epitomizes San Francisco's endurance and resilience. Thanks so much for joining us for our Midday News this Wednesday. I'm Chris Sanchez. I'm in for Marcus Washington. And I'm Laura Garcia. I love that, that sound, do, do, right? It's just so classic. <laughs> City of San Francisco on this day in 1873 unveiled the first cable car. Works a little differently back then than it does today, but still <laughs> it's rolling along. That's right. It's celebrating its history and it, the history of it is taking center stage along with a very big first. NBC Bay Area's Ginger Conejero saw is live in San Francisco, where those festivities are getting underway. Hi there, Ginger. Lots of folks celebrating. A lot of folks. We actually had to step away from the crowd uh, to get this live shot because there are a lot of people gathered at the cable car turnaround here on Powell Street, right in the heart of downtown San Francisco. If you take a look at the celebration, it kind of takes you back in time to the beginning of the 19th century, the start of the 19th century. You see people in costumes, uh, dressed it to the theme. Uh, there's also been some music that's accompanied the formal program that is underway. Of course, Mayor London Breed is here. She spoke earlier to kick things off. Um, Speaker Emeritus Nancy Pelosi as well. Uh, she spoke about the rich history of the cable car and also how that is uh, a tied to uh, the city's history rooted in innovation. Uh, Board of Supervisors President Aaron Peskin is also here among other VIPs. Now what was also um, very touching as a part of the program is a recognition of the first female cable car grip person. Her name is Fanny Barnes and what many people might not realize it is it is the physicality of operating a cable car. Now, Miss Barnes shared her story with us this morning. She was the first woman to take on that role when she says a lot of people counted her out and she did so at the age of 52. It represents everything for me because especially being an African-American woman, uh, being a woman of color, period, because we so many times have been put down in actuality, we have to realize that we're the ones that built this country. You know, we built this country on our blood, sweat, and tears, and life. Now, speaking to her, you can't help but feel a little more motivated to get out and do what you need to do this morning. Her message is simply, she said, never count yourself out. Now, the celebration today includes different parts of the city. There will be um, people dressed in theme, uh, some performers actually riding the cable cars, uh, singing opera uh, and singing and uh, accompanying with music those uh, cable car rides. But the celebration does not end today. Uh, you can take a look at your screen. These are just some of the list of events that are actually happening uh, through the rest of the year. From now until December of uh, 2023, you have the $5 hop on, hop off. There's also a, a special exhibit that pays you know, tribute to the 150 years of cable cars. Uh, there's also special cable car services, including halfway to the stars. You can go to sfmta.com slash cable cars 150 for the full list of details. Uh, today's event will conclude with a tribute to the late Tony Tony Bennett, who over 61 years ago recorded uh, that San Francisco favorite, I Left My Heart in San Francisco, uh, will be hearing that from what I understand um, and in a different part of the city, still paying tribute to uh, to the cable car uh, and halfway through the stars. All these references to the beautiful uh, ways that San Francisco, uh, there you go, it's a packed house. I can't, <laughs> what can I do? Uh, all these beautiful ways to pay tribute to San Francisco. And guys, love, back to you. I love all the costumes. Costumes too. Yeah, the period pieces there. All right, it is a lot to celebrate. Thank you very much, Ginger.